Dimension Films presents... That's my girl! I just want you to look at some photos, tell me what you think. Mm, no. no, no, all right, well, worth a shot. Go, 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 go! Oh, man. Scary Movie. Can I tell you a secret? I see dead people. Man, this is awesome! <laughs> YouTubers, Hangster here, and uh, welcome to the first of our uh, scary movie uh, review series. This, of course, is to help promote the uh, the upcoming release of Scary Movie Five, which comes out uh, this Friday, uh, April twelfth, two thousand thirteen, featuring appearances by uh, Lindsay Lohan and Charlie Sheen. Now, of course, the original Scary Movie uh, featured uh, also um, up-and-coming but kind of well-known uh, young actors, including, of course, uh, Marlon Waynes and Sean Waynes, which, of course, were the brothers of the director, Keeney and Irie Waynes. Um, it also featured um, Carmen Electra, who, of course, was uh, still basically with uh, Baywatch at the time. Shannon Elizabeth, who, of course, uh, first got uh, her... First was seen in the American first American um, Pie movies. Anna Ferris, who of course before this was in the um, the Brady Bunch movies. This is back when she had that horrible black hairdo. Um, and all uh, Sherry O'Terry um, and a f quite a few other actors and actresses in the movie. Um, as I said, this was uh, done by uh, the Wayne's Brothers. Um, uh, this and the second movie was basically uh, done by them, but then by the time the third one came out, they uh, kind of dropped out of the project, and they were t it was taken over by another uh, um, set of directors and producers and stuff um, and all. Um, so, but uh, obviously Scary Movie was the, the starting point of all the, uh, the um, parody movies that, crop of parody movies that uh, came out um, within the last decade. It, of course, not only spawned three other movies, which of course will become four movies uh, this Friday with the release of Scary Movie 5, uh, but also such uh, notable movies as Disaster Movie, uh, Date Movie, Epic Movie, Superhero Movie, um, and other uh, parody movies that have cropped up um, that have kind of you got to the point of making people get tired of them, but I guess they're not tired enough because they're still pick, still cropping these up once in a while. Um, basically, the back the, basically the background of this movie is obviously you know as I said it's a parody movie, and they're going after specific genres in movies. You know, um, with this particular movie, this uh, particular uh, movie, they were going after uh, making fun of. Um, Teen slasher films at the time, you know, pop, you know, teen, popular with teenagers and young adults at the time, um, such as, of course, uh, Scream, which oddly enough was produced was uh, created by the same uh, production company as Scary Movie. Also, I know what you did last summer. Um, uh, not a, really a slasher film, but uh, uh, Blair Witch Project, and of course they. Uh, this was basically also joined in the uh, uh, popular. Um, uh, use of the uh, some of the stuff from uh, the Matrix. So there's obviously a Matrix gag in this movie as well, um, and of course even went after commercials like the popular uh, "What's Up" commercial from uh, Bud Light, and of course they also went after po uh, popular uh, cultural um, things that went around. At the time, and of course, obviously they went after stereotypes, you know, as well, you know, you know, obvious, obvious stereotypes here, like retarded people and gay people and black people and white people and stuff like that. Um, so to add on to that, um, to that concept. So basically, they went, they just went crazy with this, and basically. Well, it, it was popular enough to start this genre, a uh, subgenre of parody movies. I mean, there was parody movies before this, um, like of course Mel, many of Mel Brooks's movies, like you know, like uh, Spaceballs and Dracula Dead and Loving It and Frankenstein and Young Frankenstein and and um, 
Blazing Saddles, uh, which went after, uh, also went after not just a ty- you know a movie itself, but the the genre of movies. Um, and of course, like um, the Zucker brothers, with you know, kind of poking fun at uh, you know culture and other movies with the air with the uh, airplane and uh, police that's gonna be police squad movies, uh, the Naked Gun movies, by the way. Um, but uh, well, it's uh, it's it's a pretty good movie. I mean, there's a lot of you know stupid stuff in there, but. Uh, um, all in all, it's a pretty good, you know, you know, good laugh in there. Of course, obviously, there's drug references in there too. Um, and uh, sheesh, I even even <laughs> I liked it even as far as you know, like Halloween. Sometimes you only go to um, get you know costume places and stuff. You can still pick up replicas of the not just the scary uh, the scream um, uh, ghost face mask but also the scary movie ghost face masks that are out there um, I, of course I got it when it originally came out but um, like the was up face and the and, the, and all <laughs> but uh, all in all of course, the one disappointing thing is I wish they didn't kill, had to kill off uh, Karma Electra like they did. Um, I, you know, I, I, most people might know that I'm a, I am a Karma Electra fan, and obviously she was one of the reasons I saw this movie. Um, and for all you people out there who might have seen Shannon Elizabeth in, in the American Pie movie series, where she, of course, got naked you know, in the first one, um, she's not, there's no real nudity. There's you know, male butts and stuff like that, but there's no female, actual female nudity. Um, I mean, there's a brief scene of uh, in Anna Ferris's butt, but I'm really not sure that's really her butt. It's maybe like a, a stand-in butt or something. I don't know. Um, but uh, most of the sex scenes, if there's any sex scenes at all, it's mostly humor-related. It's, you know, nothing to to get you really turned off for too long. Um, but, uh, obviously, it's, it's a, you know, they squish in, you know, they, but they did pretty good at combining movies. I mean, the, uh, Scream movie series mixed in pretty well with, like, you know, I Know What You Did Last Summer, so it kind of flowed in pretty good, um, in my opinion. Um... But uh, I suggest to everybody. It's of course obviously out on DVD. It has like a, you know the DVD itself has a, a bunch of behind the scenes stuff, some you know um, deleted material, um, and also has a DVD ROM section, so you can pop that in your computer and uh, check out the little goodies they have in there for um, uh, from the movie. So um, you check that out. Now of course, as I said, this is the beginning. Of a little series dedicated to the scary for the scary movie only. I'm not going to be going in really going into uh, the other movies that of course split off from this, like date movie and epic movie and all that other stuff. That's probably going for a, a later time. But this is, this particular series is just going for the scary all, all four scary movies. And of course, this was for the original scary movie. Um, so check it out when you can. I, I do suggest you do, even though it doesn't really flow as a you know totally one on one, except you know most of the actors and actresses do appear in the other productions. Anna Ferris, of course, uh, keeps reprising her role somewhat um, throughout the series. I'm not even sure if she's in the new mo- in uh, part five. We'll have to see. Uh, they were mostly focusing on Charlie Sheen and and, uh, and Lindsay, Lindsay Lohan. So. But this is the one that you know got real Harry, Anna Ferris really going in her career. Uh, you got to see her transformation uh, and her looks as well uh, through this series. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, little review of Scary Movie. Stay tuned for a Scary Movie Two, um, which will be going into even though it's kind of it's still horror related, but it is going into a different genre of horror. Um, um, than the first one. And uh, stay tuned here for more reviews, whatnot, and what's up here on the Multiverse. See ya.